Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential system. We have 2 to the power x plus y equals 125, 2 to the power x minus y equals 25, and we are going to evaluate 2 to the power x over y. Now, I'll be presenting two methods, and let's start with the first method. So for my first method, I'm going to take these expressions and log both sides but I want to use base 2 so I can get rid of the exponents so if you log both sides you're gonna get something like this and then the log and the exponent are actually gonna cancel out moving this over here log 2 with base 2 is gonna be 1 you should know logs for sure because they're really cool and fun x plus y is gonna be log 125 base 2 and then similarly we can write this as a log statement too we can just write x minus y is log 25 with base 2 again now what did I get from here I got a system what can I do with it I can solve it elimination I can go ahead and add these two equations that's going to eliminate the y giving us 2x equals log 125 plus log 25 and both in base 2. Now we can go ahead and divide both sides by 2 to find x but let's go ahead and combine these two logs and we have an interesting property that we're going to use here. What is that property called? Well it's probably called log of a product or the product property so if you have log of a b it can be written as log a plus log b. Of course a and b have to be both positive but you can also write it backwards. So we have the sum of two logs which can be written as the log of a product. Let's go ahead and use that property. But to make it easier on us, let's go ahead and write this as 5 to the third and this as 5 to the second. So when you multiply them, you get 5 to the fifth power, which is going to make it a little easier. So 2x can be written as log 5 to the fifth power because 5 to the third times 5 to the second. And then you can go ahead and move this 5 to the front. Let's do it. 2x equals 5 times log 5 with base 2. And now I can divide both sides by 2, and that should give me the answer. x equals 5 times log 5 base 2 divided by 2. So that is my x value. And I can find the y value by substitution. I don't think you want to do that, but you definitely could. I would subtract the equations. Because notice that if you subtract, x is going to cancel out. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's rewrite our expression. I had x plus y and x minus y. So in other words, you're kind of negating the second equation and adding, right? That's equivalent to subtracting. And this gives you 2y equals log 125 minus log 25. They're both in base 2. Great. Now, we can combine these again, like condense, actually, that's what it's called, uh, by using the quotient property log if you have log a minus log b that can be written as log a over b provided that b does not equal zero and a and b are well actually if a and b are both positive then we're going to be good so now 2y can be written as log 125 over 25 again base 2 but 125 divided by 25 is just 5 so we get log 5 with base 2 and if you divide both sides by 2 from here you're going to get y equals log 5 divided by 2. So that is the value of log 5. That is the value of y in terms of log 5. Or, um, yeah, that is the value of y and that is the value of x. What do I need to do? x is equal. Let me go ahead and copy the value of x from there. It was 5 log 5 divided by 2. So that's those are my x and y values. And I'm supposed to evaluate 2 to the power x over y. So how can I find this? I have to divide x by y, right? So let's go ahead and do it first, and then we can do 2 to the power of that. So what is x over y? x over y is just going to be x, and then to divide by y, you can multiply by the reciprocal, which is 2 over log 5. And log 5 definitely cancels out, leaving us with, and the 2 cancels out, leaving us with 5. That was nice. So x over y is 5, and how do you find 2 over 2 to the power x over y? That is 2 to the power of 5, which is equal to 
32, which is the answer. Make sense? I hope it does. So quickly, let me recap what I did. I basically wrote the log equivalencies, uh, wrote both of these equations in terms of logs, and then I came up with a system, and then I just solved that system by elimination using properties of logs along the way. So make sure you know the properties of the logs before you can tackle these kinds of problems. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method, which I'm hoping you'll find simpler. It's almost always the case that first method is a little painful. But again, it's, it's not too bad. You we're just using properties of logs. I think it's good practice anyways. So let me rewrite the original problem so you can see 2 to the power x plus y is 125. So we can start fresh. And 2 to the power x minus y is 25. And I'm supposed to evaluate 2 to the power x over y. So the idea is you don't have to find x and y individually. To find x over y, it's basically a ratio. So if you can find that ratio somewhat, you'll be fine. And notice that on the right-hand side, I have 125 and 25, which are both powers of 5. So that's an advantage. If they weren't, then it would be a little messier. But they are, so let's go ahead and take advantage of that fact. So now I can write this as 2 to the power x plus y equals 5 to the power 3. And from here, I'd like to do the following. I want to isolate 5. So raise both sides to the power 1 third, so you can get 2 to the power x plus y over 3 equals 5. So here's what I did. I took that, raised it to the power 1 third. I took that and raised it to the power 1 third. It's equivalent to cube rooting both sides, in other words. So that's one of the expressions that I'm getting. Take the second equation. This is the second one, and this is the first one. And let's go ahead and do the same thing. 2 to the power x minus y equals 5 to the second. And then let's go ahead and raise both sides to the power 1 half. And that's going to give me 2 to the power x minus y over 2 equals 5. Now you might be arguing like when you take the square root, doesn't that become an, couldn't it become a negative? It could, but here's the problem. If you set this equal to a negative 5, you're yeah, going to have an issue because you have a positive base, so the result cannot be negative in the real world. And we are in the real world, right? Okay, so what am I getting from here? I'm getting the same thing, but I got the 5 twice. So if two things are equal to the same thing, then they're equal, which means 2 to the power x plus y over 3 equals 2 to the power x minus y over 2 which means x plus y over 3 equals x minus y over 2. And now you can do cross-cross applesauce to x plus 2y equals 3x minus 3y. Put the x's together and put the y's together. You get x equals 5y, which means x over y equals 5. Awesome. From a ratio or proportion, we found another ratio. So now 2 to the power x over y is just going to be 2 to the power 5, and that is equal to 32. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.